Hi folks, just thought I'd do an, a little video for you. I hadn't uh, done a video in a couple of weeks, uh, so I thought I would just get one out, show you what I'm working on, let you know I'm still alive. The Phoenix area is great uh, for miniatures gaming and gaming of all types, uh, really, but uh, I've, been get, I've been playing a lot of games and doing a whole lot more playing than I have been modeling for the first time ever. Uh, so it's it's really been great, uh, but at the same time projects have have uh, slowed down. Uh, not to complain though, uh, because it's 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 really been wonderful. Um, I have had to pick and choose a little bit though, uh, and I've really gotten into bolt action pretty heavy the last couple of months, uh, playing it almost exclusively. I've almost completely stopped playing with any uh, Warhammer stuff, uh, although. Uh, I do still play probably one game every you know ten days or so of of uh, 40k. Uh, not every week, pro probably every other week I play a game of 40k. Uh, but it's uh, it's really it's really all about Warhammer now. I mean uh, bolt action right now. But I'm sure that'll change again in the future. Um, I just watched uh, not too long ago Gets a video about his. Uh, uh, the Skaven models he he got. Um, I painted those up about a year ago, uh, so I just thought I'd I'd show those uh, just for fun. Um, at the time when I painted these, I was uh, very happy with the results, and uh, I'm actually still still pretty pleased with the way they look. Um, I do think I've improved a bit in. Uh, shading and highlighting and blending, um, but uh, I'm still not not ashamed to not ashamed to show these to you. Uh, there's the Warplock engineer. I've actually uh, had pretty good luck with him in uh, in the uh, few games I played with my uh, small Skaven army. Here's the. Uh, uh, the warp fire thrower. It's a cool model. Uh, I think with the, the little flaming rat down there. Yeah, I just thought he was pretty cool. If I were doing this again, I would definitely go uh, brighter on the on the green. Uh, but hey, you know, for for what it is and when I did it, I'm, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. All right, on to uh, bolt action stuff. There's there's a couple of things going on in this area of bolt action. I've mentioned before I'm currently involved in a uh, escalation league. Uh, this is right about in the middle of it. Uh, this week is the 800 point week. Um, September the 14th is supposed to be the thousand point tournament. Uh, so I've been I've been playing uh, every week. Uh, you know, adding to my force in, incrementally, as I guess is the is the idea with an with an escalation league. Um, I recently picked up some War Games Factory uh, Late War uh, U.S. troops. Um, I I like the miniatures. Um, there's a couple of things that I don't like about them, but overall I think they're pretty nice. Uh, the main problem, in my opinion, is the the equipment is, the add-on equipment is mediocre at best. Um, but the the uh, the molds and the details on the on the main parts, the arms and the torsos and heads and what have you, I think are pretty good. Uh, some of the poses are a bit wooden, I guess. Not the best. Uh, this BAR guy, I think, is a pretty good example. Um, but at the same time, you know, perfectly acceptable, and it doesn't look bad on the table. I've started, I painted up um, a few of them, 
as uh, rangers, uh, this being one, uh, this being one, and I'm going to use those to uh, supplement, you know, my main force. I've used them in one game, and they, while they, they really didn't perform that well, but because of my stupidity, um, but they even even the horrible situation I put them in, they still held up uh, relatively well. I've got um, I've got a bunch more guys that are uh, painted it up and ready to go. I just need to uh, to finish to finish basing them. Um, I'll hopefully get that done uh, before this weekend. Some more uh, another War Games factory model. I'm using this as my forward air observer. Modified him a little bit just by throwing that uh, M1 carbine over his back on a sling. Uh, this guy I'm using, uh, he's my uh, forward observer number two man. Um, he's pretty cool looking I think. Uh, everything else that I've got on the table here are the uh, the Warlord miniatures. There's a bazooka team I just finished up. Um, I haven't um, I haven't decaled them yet, and I haven't put the varnish on them yet, so they will kind of tone down a little bit. Uh, but anyway, that's the main thing I've been working on is bolt action U.S. infantry. Um, started on uh, P-47D uh, Thunderbolt just as a you know Air Force marker when the planes come in. Uh, U.S. Army gets uh, two air strikes per game rather than the normal one uh, due to their uh, air superiority in Europe. Um, I also copied an idea from uh, Wargaming for Fun's channel. I made up one of these uh, little markers. Uh, it's supposed to be a pin marker. Uh, you put a D6 uh, in and um, you know, so you can keep track of the number of pins. The problem with this is I've been in I've been in several games now where units get you know more than uh, six pin markers. So it's you know not the best idea. I still like it, you know, but it's the only one I've made after I found uh, units getting more than six pin markers. I, I didn't make any more of them, uh, but I still may in the future. Uh, another thing that's happening here in Phoenix is supposedly about six months down the road. It's not official yet, uh, but there's supposed to be a big uh, bolt action tournament uh, put on here locally. There's the guys trying to get uh, support through Warlord games and, and everything else. Uh, so anyway, I agreed to provide a table's worth of terrain. Um, I wanted to I wanted to start building some terrain anyway, uh, just just really to see if I could do it. And so I figured this would be a good way to get into it. And you know, I figured I would. Uh, I've got six months, so I can take about as long as I need to do it. Uh, you know, learn how to do it and then do it. And of course, if I, you know, at the end, if I'm still short of stuff, I can just buy stuff or, you know, use some things that I already have. Uh, so a couple of pieces I've made and started on, uh, I've did some, I've done some bocage. Uh, I, I, I told, I said I would provide a Normandy board because there, there were other people already doing other theaters, uh, but nobody was doing Normandy. So I, I said I would provide that. Um, this is about a about a five and a half inch piece um, bocage. It's uh, just made on a uh, wooden stick, uh, little talus pebbles, uh, foam is uh, foam board is on the inside, and then uh, covered with uh, light green and medium green uh, clump foliage from uh, Woodland Scenics. Quite happy with the way it turned out. Um, I've got two of them. Uh, I've got my, I, I, I've laid my board out or laid my terrain out with the design I want to make. Uh, basically, it's going to be a combination town and fields. 
Um, and so I figured I'm going to need about uh, roughly eight or nine feet of uh, this bocage. So I've got a ways to go on it. But it's, it's, it's not too hard to make. Uh, it's pretty simple, not too time consuming. I'm going to do some other ones that are a little more uh, varied. You know, have some uh, maybe some stones in the middle or gates or maybe a tree or something like that. Uh, so it's not just, you know, straight hedge. Um, I made them. Um, I made them nice and big, uh, bigger than most of the ones uh, that that I see on tables, uh, because the the bocage in Normandy was big. You know, it was uh, it was at least as tall as the people, and, and in a lot of cases uh, taller. Uh, but most of the gaming stuff stuff I've seen so far is you know about half to three quarters this this size. Uh, but I think this will more realistically represent what was there um, I've started on uh, started on some buildings or a building um, this is gonna be a little duplex house uh, divided uh, down the middle uh, this is this is cut out of uh, cork board uh, started uh, put in one window frame of, uh, I coated it in uh, in spackle and then sanded it down to both fill gaps and give a plaster-like texture. Uh, so I figure I'll, you know, divide it down the middle and paint each half uh, slightly different, slightly different colors to represent two different dwellings. Uh, this is the the back elevation of the same building. Spackle applied, but obviously hadn't been finished yet. And then I've got two uh, end elevations that look like this. Uh, which is that's going to be uh, like an attic vent or a you know loft vent up there. I tried to make um, I tried to make a paned window uh, to go in this building. Not really happy with the result, so I got to do something else. This is just it's a piece of clear plastic uh, with with a wooden you know cross pane added to it. I think my the the little uh, the little wood slats are too big. And they're already pretty small and a little bit tricky to work with, uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might try just plain glass uh, in the windows, or I might try to cut the. Yeah, so it looks something like that. Uh, although I mean that doesn't look too horrible, but I, th I still think it's it's a little too big, and I'm not super happy with it. I might I might try to cut. Uh, uh, cut the slats out of plastic card or something, or I might I might do just plain uh, plain plastic without any with without any uh, wood. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I think I think I think that is it. Um, I still want to do um, a an overall uh, showcase video of my my bolt action guys um but i'll wait i mean when they're all finished um so i'll do that at some point but they're st i've still got uh i think five more uh to paint up uh for sunday's 800 point games and maybe i'll get uh, if i get those done maybe i do a showcase video of what i got so far uh, so that's it for now. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, and if anybody has any ideas on on wind on paned windows or links for good information on where to uh, go for a tutorial or ideas or what have you, uh, put those in a comment for me uh, so I can check them out. Uh, thanks a lot and take care.